This small flashlight is known as a mini mag light, a very durable little light. I bet you're wondering, how in the world can you make a fire using a flashlight? I'm glad you asked that question because I'm about to show you. First, remove the reflector cap of the flashlight where the bulb is revealed. Second, remove the bulb and place it into the reflector cap. That way you don't lose it and set that aside. I want you to notice two tiny holes where the bulb goes. I have two pieces of 24 gauge wire. If you don't have wire you can use needles like you find in a sewing kit. Place these pieces of wire into those tiny holes. like so. Then all you need is your steel wool. Touch the pieces of wire to the steel wool and you've got fire. Your small flashlight doesn't necessarily have to be a mini mag light. I bought this little flashlight at Walmart for 94 cents with two batteries. Here's the way you can make a fire using this little flashlight. Simply remove just one battery, which is a double A battery. I have two pieces of that same 24 gauge wire that I'm going to put one on the negative end, uh, end of the battery and the other I'm going to place at the positive end of the battery. Then I want to take these pieces of wire and bend them where they're almost touching. Then I need my steel wool and I've got fire. With two pieces of wire and a double-A battery. You can get this type of flashlight at Walmart for around six to seven dollars. And there are three different things you can do with this flashlight. Number one is the obvious you've got flashlight. But I'm going to show you two ways that you can make fire using this flashlight. Simply unscrew the cap, remove the reflector where the bulb goes. Now I'm going to show you how to make a fire using this reflector, the sun, and a piece of char cloth. As I already mentioned, there are three things that you'll need to make a fire like this. You'll need the sun, of course, the reflector itself, and a piece of char cloth. Simply take your char cloth and roll it or fold it up. And put it in the back side of the reflector, just like the bulb would go. Now this is just like using a magnifying glass. You've got to focus the sun's rays into one spot so that it will ignite the char cloth. Now setting this aside, let's move on. You can also remove the battery and with these two posts and a piece of steel wool you can make fire. T just take the steel wool and touch it to the two posts and you've got fire. Here's a little tip for you. Before you put the flashlight back together, in a plastic bag, put some char cloth. And also in a plastic bag, some steel wool. Place that into your flashlight first. The battery. Put it all back together. And not only do you have a flashlight, but you also have the ability to make fire.
You can also make fire using a 9 volt battery with the steel wool. Simply touch the two posts on the 9 volt battery and once again you've got fire.